Let's create the database for our application by going to mongodb.com slash cloud slash atlas. We're going to be using the cloud service MongoDB Atlas to create our MongoDB database. And this service is entirely free to use. So we'll click on the Start Free button or the Try Free button. And then we'll provide the information that we want to use. So we'll select Get Started Free. And we'll be taken to where we can create our first cluster. So first we want to choose our cloud provider who's going to be hosting our database. And we want to make sure we're selecting a free tier cluster. We want to choose one of the options with the tag free tier available. I would recommend choosing the location that's closest to you. Then we'll select cluster tier. And make sure we select the M0 tier. This is the sandbox tier, the, the free option for creating our database with 512 megabytes of storage. We can provide a cluster name if we like. I'm going to call mine geo pins and then we'll select create cluster once we see free at the bottom so it will take some time for our cluster to be created usually about seven to ten minutes and once we see that our cluster is done being set up we can create our first database user by going to the security tab and selecting add new user we want to create an atlas admin so we'll need to add a username and password for our admin. And once we've done so, we can select Add User. We'll then whitelist our IP address. So we'll go to IP whitelist, add our IP address. Then we can select Add Current IP Address and hit Confirm. And then we can connect to our cluster from our backend. So we'll select this connect button and we'll choose to connect our application with this option, connect your application and we'll use the short SRV connection string. We'll copy the SRV address, then we'll head, head back to our backend and we'll create a new file in the root of our project called .env. We'll create a new entry called mongo underscore URI and paste in what we copied and then replace these angle brackets and the word password with the password that we provided for our created admin user. Once we've done so, we can save our .env file and then within server.js, we can read from our .env file by using the .env package. So we'll require .env and then use the config method off of it, like so. Then to connect to our cluster, we'll require mongoose. We can use the connect method off of mongoose to connect to the cluster by providing our mongo URI and .env has now made that available on process.env.mongo underscore URI We'll need to pass in a second argument, an object where the property use new URL parser is set to true. This will remove a deprecation warning that we'll get from Mongoose. Then to see if our database was connected to successfully, we can chain on a then statement and return a simple console log with the text db connected. If it was successful, otherwise we can catch any errors with a catch statement and return them within a console.error. So now we can save server.js and check out our terminal and we should see db connected.